All right, what's up guys? We're back with part five here and we're going to be doing vamp section. So we're going to get straight out of this. So two ways you can go about this. You can either go the slow way, which is to the right there and jump on the pipe, or you can try and do this jump. Now, I make that kind of look easy now. That jump used to be a pain in the ass um, for me. It It is a kind of finicky jump, but once you get down pat, it'll be great. I'm gonna jump over, and there's gonna be these two guards. Um, fortunately, I haven't found a quick way past them, so we kind of just have to wait and trank them when they get to around, you know, around here or there. But generally, the sooner the better. Oh, so they're gonna start walking. You want to let them walk a bit so you can. Get them both. And you want to jump there. So, you can, an easy way to do it is you shoot him and then let the other guy kind of see that his uh, mate's falling asleep. And then you just shoot him as well because he'll be standing nice and still and give you a good hit. Right now we're on the Strud L perimeter. So, guard here. Fortunately, I was a bit slow there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast ourselves. Um, probably the best thing to do if you do get caught out like that in this area is just to kill yourself straight away. Um, because it's just a pain to try and go to keep going with it. So there's another guard there. So I actually realized I got that a bit quicker than normal um, by getting past that first card, that's why I had to wait for the second one. And now you just want to kind of crawl, crawl, shimmy along this part. And of course, it wouldn't be a Kojima game without a pissing joke. I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking right. So I grab them just for a bit later. You don't really need those bullets, but Meh. So, when I get to here, I'm going to pull out a show grenade. Throw it. That's because there's a bunch of drones coming. You could probably hear them then. Um, but the good thing is, there's more show grenades there, so we just pick them up. We jump across. Oof, that was a close one. That jump can be a bit annoying sometimes as well. But that's alright. Right now, we are about to rescue the president. Because Olga's got him trapped in this room. So to do that, we need to go get the... I'm not sure if it's called the Nikita or the Nikita, whatever it's called. We need to go get that from the flooded section. And we're going to quickly pick up the ration on the way. Again, if you want... Feel free to activate those consoles if you're not so confident in remembering where guards are. You know, there's nothing wrong with activating them. I just know where the guards are going to be, so I don't bother doing it anymore. Okay, so we're in the flooded section now. Um, a lot of these parts can be done in one breath. Um, again, if you're not confident in doing it, there are air holes you can go up and get breaths at. But I'm going to be doing it in one breath. So you see where the green is. Uh, for some reason, the PC version it might just be my version. I'm not sure, but every PC version I've ever had has always a texture issues there, and it's just loaded them as green. Uh, I missed it. But you can kind of bonk your head and turn within this room while still going fast, and you'll pick up the Nikita. But most of the time, you either have to slow down to do that, or you'll go outside that little doorway and have to turn back and swim back through and pick it up. But now that you've picked it up, I'm going to keep going. And um, to, sorry, I should have mentioned, to swim faster you want to be tapping B. Be your uh, circle on a PlayStation controller, which will allow you to swim a bit faster. So, activate this console again. So now that we've got this, we're going to be using it exactly once in this run, and it will be just be for this part here. 
Now there is a strat where you can shoot a rocket at this wall, um, but it doesn't seem to really work in normal difficulty. In the higher difficulties, the president will actually uh, kind of panic and run over to that side of the wall, uh, allowing you to get an easy Nikita shot. But we're going to shoot this through. Oh, I got the bad boost there. So these things are going to boost randomly, you can't really control it. So just do your best. Come out here. What are you doing? And we want to kind of stay to the left here. What are you doing? Now in normal, I've been told uh, the present acts really goddamn weird. So you kind of just want to make sure you don't hit him, even if it means doing that a tiny bit slower than you want to do it. Because he is no, he is prone to deciding he wants to run directly into that missile. I wish. Now there's more uh, cutscenes and what not. Walking. That's right. And shocker, the president has a heart attack. This is car Something tells me this may be a simulation of Middle Gear Solid 1. That's just a hunch. What's your so now we find out that uh, I took these photos two years. I'm not sure we find out right there, but we find out that How there's uh, Hal's sister. Uh, I don't remember her name. Is it Emily or Emma? Forget it. Starts with an E. I think it's Emma. Uh, Emma Emmerich, I think her name is. I just know her as E. -E. I've just forgotten her name. But basically, she is trapped in a flooded area, so we have to go get her. So we're going to be going back to the flooded section. This video may run for a tiny bit longer because we're going to do the vamp fight as well. Again. Go under and start spamming that circle or B button when fast. And of course you want to dodge these, uh, you want to dodge the mines. Then you want to open this door up, you're going to get a little cutscene of like a dead body floating towards you. Then you want to skip. And then you want to keep going, so go that way, open this door again, not open the second door, sorry. And directly to our right should be a staircase that we want to go up. Okay, so coming up right now is the vamp fight. And right. unlike the other bosses, unlike uh, unlike the other bosses, most other bosses, we're going to be training his stamina, not his health. And there's a very good reason for this. So you can let him do his spin, you shoot him in the face, he goes under, you're gonna wait a bit, the first time, and then just drop off his edge. So the reason we're taking his stamina is we can infinite loop him, hypothetically. Well, actually not hypothetically, we can do it, it's just quite hard to do. Just time it right. So we're gonna come here, as he steps like that, he's gonna go for a slash, and we're going to do this over and over again. So you want to let him start his animation by just standing on him. And that will mean he will slash at you. I think you can get in more punches, but I'm just playing it safe. So that was like a perfect vamp fight, basically. Uh, doing it all in one cycle without him jumping back into the water. Also, the reason why we're doing the punches and not the two-punch kick combo is because when you kick him, he will fall to the ground and then immediately get up and go into his invincibility state and jump back into the water. Which we don't want. So because that went so well, we're going to grab Emma in this video as well. So... 
here's a little section that differs to the uh, the extreme the extreme the body armor is done here um, and you'd pick the body armor up as well uh, in normal difficulty we don't need the body armor so we're not going to pick it up and Emma is it this in here So this is Hal's little sister, I think. Leave me. Who can't swim and is afraid of bugs. Put your... So we're gonna leave. Uh, we're gonna leave that here. Um, we're gonna pick up the the next video, the next section. Uh, we'll probably do the vamp head shot. That probably will be the only section we can do because that section is quite long. Actually no, we'll probably get to sword because I think I'm gonna fast forward a lot on the on the uh, the sniper section. So yeah, we're gonna end the video here around 10 minutes, 11 minutes, and I'll pick up in the next video. So thank you very much.